Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> so, I've been gathering some wood, and I'm making a bunch of charcoal, so I can make some more torches. And, uh, actually there's one too many in there, I'll take that out. Um, and I heard a weird noise. Like, I heard a bunch of spiders, and I was a little confused, because I was like, you know, there's... Looks pretty safe area here, right? Well, I heard them over here, so I dug into the wall, and dug out... And I originally dug under here and found a bunch of bedrock, so I was like, okay. So I moved up. There's this weird lit up area here. And then I went up even higher. And there were some spiders hanging out here. That I don't want... Get... Get... Um... Is this that area that we were at before? With the, um... I don't know. <laughs> I am going to do this so no spiders can get through up there. I mean, of course, they can always just hop down from up. Yeah, like that. Ah, get... I mean, if this is just a big... open area for no reason, then, I mean, cool. Because that's a lot of spawning that's taken up. But, I don't... Yeah, it is. That's the... Hmm. Let's see what happens if I dig down... Here. See, there's no signs that say, like, dig that way. Which I would expect. But it looks like we just found a shortcut, guys. <laughs> Um, you know, it's really dangerous to come down this way, because stuff could just drop on me. And I th think it's bright enough down here that nothing will spawn. Yeah, this is where we found our stone at. Where we found our stone at, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, so, this big bedrock maze thing would be or this big bedrock thing would be that maze that we saw so um we have torches now so we can actually come up here and light this up I mean it might be better for us to just wall it off um and leave it unlit so that things can spawn up here, and it would hopefully take off a bunch of the spawns so we don't get um, too many things spawning nearby. Because if I'm ass if what I'm assuming is correct, and there are only, you know, a few places, like... I'm assuming there aren't just, like, big gaping holes in the walls in places that I'll never get to where mobs can spawn, so that would mean that um, the only places that they can spawn are where we are going to go near the wool, which means that uh, the spawning rates in those rooms are going to be higher than everything else. Oh, darn. There was a torch and part of the ceiling. Alright. Um, so this is interesting. I was not expecting to be able to just pop out over here. Let's head on back here. This area is relatively safe. I mean, I'm going to put a door there um, to keep that from continually... Oh, yeah, to keep that from happening. Get. Nope. Oh, phew. Okay, let's just, uh, plug it up for now. <laughs> Man, that was scary. Okay, um, so you have some charcoal. Where'd my wood go? Where'd I put it? Here it is. Uh, first of all, let's make a stack of torches. And then make a door. And this door can go... You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna seal this off just in case spiders get in there. I'm gonna seal that off. And I'm going to totally seal off this area here. And then we'll put the door up here. So that way, we now have a 
pretty safe area here. I mean, there are still mobs on top. But that shouldn't be... Oh, that's stupid. That shouldn't be much of a problem, I don't think. I just realized that spiders could get through that, so... Okay, I just walled that off because I didn't want mobs coming in from that side. Oh, all this stone. Um, and I just realized, actually, that, um... That area that we were in last time that had the the little mushroom house has a bunch of water in that big pillar thing, so we could grab that and um, make like a wheat farm or um, how deep does this stone go? We could make like a wheat farm or um, oh hey, glowstone, um, or we could make a cobblestone generator, which is I hear water. Uh, that's the main reason that I want it. It's for a cobblestone. I will mine all this stuff out eventually. It's not right now. Um, so let's see again. Come back up here and light up this area. Get away from me. Little cheater. Well, it looks like all the creepers died or ran or something. Because uh, they're not up here anymore. Yeah, this. I just want it to be bright enough so that nothing spawns right now so I can get around and check this area out without being afraid of dying. <laughs> okay, let's hop on down here and light things up as we go. More stone and a two-block drop. Let's just make sure we have a way out. Um, okay. It looks like there's not a whole lot here for us, but is there... I think the stone might just be, you know, so we have stone. Because I can't imagine anything would be under here. Um, let's see how low it goes. Alright. So it just goes down to here. Alright, yeah, that's, that's as far as it goes. Um, it does go underneath, though. So that's interesting. Hopefully there's no, like, mob spawners under there, because if I'm going down there trying to mine stuff out and I hit mob spawners, it's going to be rough. But, uh, let's, let's check out the inside of this thing for now. Um, I'm going to try to remember how, how I got in here. So, it's a single path. Okay. So I'm going to go right. I'm just going to go right all the time and see what happens. Right. <laughs> Um, stay right. That's where we just came. So I'm going to wall that off. Let's go this way. Let's go to the right. Boy, this thing is kind of big. Hmm. <laughs> Way bigger than I expected, that's for sure. Right. 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 Okay, that right is a dead end, so let's just wall it off. Boy, all this turning is making me go crazy. <sighs> I'm eventually going to get turned around on accident and uh, go up. Okay, I think we've been here before. Um, no, I guess not. Let's go right. Dead end. Let's just block that off. <laughs> go right. Man, this thing is big. Are we ever going to find the end here? Okay, that's just a little loop. That. <laughs> just so I don't get confused in the future. Not that I would probably actually get confused by that, but still. Go right. <laughs> I haven't hit places that I've already been, so that's good. Um...
because you never know if okay I can't take rights anymore <laughs> um man he must have put a lot of thought into this freaking maze and or labyrinth <laughs> I don't know what the difference is I know um one time somebody made a a video I think it was um I'm not going to remember his name now, because he hasn't made a, long, a video in a long time. Uh, Rolf Savid, I believe he made a video with a maze in it, and everybody was like, no, it's a labyrinth, or, or something like that. I don't really know. Um, okay, that just loops around. Um, and I know people were specifying in the comments what the difference was. Like, I think a maze has multiple pass pathways to the exit, where um, a labyrinth only has one but that's not much of a difference to me. <laughs> so... Okay, now I'm just hitting little tiny dead ends all over the place. Like that one. I'm gonna run out of blocks soon. And then I'm never gonna find my way out. Hmm. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. Does any of this look familiar to you guys? Like, have we been through this part before? No, because if we'd been through here, I would have marked that one off. Which I'm... Oh, I have gravel I can use. Uh, here is zombie. I have to admit, this was harder than I expected. <laughs> ah! That works. <laughs> so, uh... Is that, oh, I'll let up in here. All those spawners should be fine. Uh, oh, oh, got turned around. Awesome! Let's just take one. What's down here? Hmm. No need to take damage. Besides, I don't trust what may, may or may not be down here. Dig here. Just do it. What's that over there? Dig... Wait. Dig where? Dig over there? Or dig here? Uh... Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to assume it's in the spirit of Vex's maps and dig this way. And if I don't hit anything in 20 blocks or so, then I'll just turn around and dig the other way. Because it is a long straight tunnel, so presumably that means it's trying to lead me somewhere. Could be wrong though. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna waste my pick here. Do I have wood on me? I really hope I do. Oh good. <laughs> I don't want to go through that whole maze again. Um, I like having stone. <laughs> Makes everything so much easier. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I just saw something as <laughs> the block broke, but... Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to turn around here and uh, head back this way and then just dig around the sign. And hey, a chest. D another diamond sword. Okay. Cool. Um, now let's see what's over here. Because this doesn't look familiar. There's skeletons up there. Um, where is this? Ah! Where, where is this? There's iron up there with ladders on it. I don't know where we are right now. Okay. I don't really... That, that, that's Enderman over there. Blah, blah, blah. That came out really weird. Nope. Get back. I'm 
Okay. I'm going to dig up this way. Just to get a good view of what's going on here. Now, I think we just accidentally stumbled into a later part of the map. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand what's going on here. Maybe this was supposed to be a pathway to, like, another area. There's little tunnels down there. There's... What's that? Ooh, iron. More iron. A chest way up there. I could just build my way to that. Hmm. Let's see, how much, uh... Sandstone do I have? That is quite a bit of sandstone. Let's, let's dig our way up to about the area where that, um... That platform is. And then we can just build across. Let's see, how long have I been recording? Uh, wow, that's actually quite a while. <coughs> Time just flies when I'm recording. And I, di I did make a bunch of mushrooms, so we've got uh, plenty of mushroom stew now. Shouldn't go hungry anytime soon. Unless I'm out on a long expedition without any. So, oh boy, there's a bunch of mobs up there. I can always just dig around and come out from behind the wall and then just destroy the spawners, knock the rest of the mobs off. Which is probably what I'll end up doing. Ooh, iron. Might as well grab it. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to break that one. Let's see, where are we? Still a ways up. Or not a ways up, but a little bit. Um... See, still not on par with that. I guess I'm gonna have to come all the way up to the top. Or all the way up to this wall. And it's still like up one or two blocks, but we'll just oop, pick broke. Here we go. Do this. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. How are we gonna let's just build along here for now. Ooh, grass. That'll be useful. I wonder if there's iron iron on top of that pillar. <coughs> That'd be pretty useful. Like in the chest. Presumably pre-smelted, but... Uh, or already smelted, but... I don't know about that. Okay, let's head into the wall here. And let's guess... 25 blocks that way. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I, oh, not what I wanted to do. I usually put torches every ten blocks when I'm doing my strip mining or branch mining. So, um, I also find it really hard to count and talk at the same time. I think this will be my tenth block here. Let's dig it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that makes things easier. Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Let's just light up this area. Do that. Okay. Build out to this. Do we have to break the block on top of it? Yes, we do. Yellow wool. All right. So that went well. Um, let's just mark that off, and then whoa, whoa, lag. That would have been awful if I fell in the lava, or fell in the lava, fell down all the way to the bottom right there. Okay, so let's try to find our way back now. Um, I may do it off camera, just because we've got ten minutes left on this recording, and uh, that labyrinth took me forever to get through. And I feel like I'm just bashing my head against a wall right now, but that's okay. Um, presumably there's nothing beneath this lava here, so I'm not going to try. Uh, it does scare me, though, being this close to the lava. I don't really like it, but it lights things up nicely, so... I don't know. And you know what? Let's just dig... Um, on the other side of the wall, too, see if there's anything over here. 
I mean, no reason to expect that there would be. But it can't hurt. I mean, you know? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Alright. And we might as well just leave it there. It's more space for mobs to spawn in that's not out there. So, let's see. Uh, we're going to have to get back up here now. And, uh, yeah. I meant... That's weird. I wonder what happened there. Um... I'm going to try to find my way back, and I'll bring you guys in if there's anything interesting. So, yep, I'll see you in a second. Okay, almost immediately I found a chest. <laughs> um, and by almost immediately, I mean, like, I turned three corners and there was a chest sitting here. So, uh, let's take as much as we can here. I'll turn these mushrooms into stew since we I know we have mushrooms back at the base. Um, let's see. I want these. I don't care for the gravel. Um, I'll replace my wood shovel with a stone one. I definitely want this. Um, let's see, I don't want those. I don't need those. The buckets aren't really that important to me. Neither is the glass. So, we have plenty of flint and steels back at home, so that's okay. Yeah, like, this over here is the way out. I just, <laughs> I just came over here, walked around the corner, and I was like, I'll just take all rights again. I mean, if it works the, that to get there, then it should work on the way back, right? And stumbled upon a chest. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, see you in a second. Oh, boy. That was a long, long walk. Um, I didn't find anything interesting, but I did seal off a lot of little pathways, uh, leading off to the side. So, hopefully, when I go through there again, it'll be a lot easier next time. Because I'll have pretty much the whole thing mapped out for me already. All I have to do is just follow the, uh, follow the trail. So, how's my armor doing? Not well. Uh, should probably make some more of that. Right, drop these stone, I mean, free stone picks, I'm not going to complain about that. I did half use up one of the axes when I was chopping down some trees earlier, and I figured I'd just be able to repair them like that, get a few extra uses out of it. I shouldn't have taken them with me, though. But okay, so we found two more wolves. Uh, I don't know what order they go in here. Okay, yellow looks like it was the next one we were supposed to find. Um, but cyan is way over here. So, and cyan was the one we found in that, that thing, too. Hmm. One of the pathways that we, that we passed up must go through, um, must go past the yellow wool. So... I wonder if you intended for it to be that close so that we could just like walk over to the um the labyrinth area. I don't know. Cuz like I know Vex made a bunch of his maps so that you would come out like close to some other area. Uh it would be interesting if like each direction had an area like right next to it so you could just break in from behind or over there on the side and you know. I think that'd be interesting at least. I only grabbed one of each cuz I didn't know if I was actually going to make it back or not. <laughs> um at some point or another, I may go back and grab some. I mean, it doesn't really matter that all that much. I have pathways straight to the wall for both times. So I'm not too worried about... Um, wow, I have a lot of cobblestone. Or, uh, sandstone now. I'm not too worried about running out of, um... Or, like, losing the wall here. Because, I mean, even if I do, I know exactly where it is. And it's a clear path straight to it. So I really don't have that many problems with just having one on me. But again, if I if something happens, then you know I'll I'll know exactly where it is. So let's see how much longer do we have on this recording. Like six minutes, five minutes, something like that. Um, let's see. I'll put the oh, wrong chest. Put the saplings away here. Um, take one of each just to fill up this this bowl, and I will take. Uh, not half. I'll take ten of each. And... Hmm. There we go. And, uh, some dirt, if we have any. Do we have any dirt? We should. No? Oh, there's some. I'll take... Two. And, uh, we'll see if we can't grow some stuff over by that, uh... 
in the really, really dark area. I'll take half of my bone meal. Uh, we'll just keep it in that chest. If we need it, we'll have it. If we don't, then we don't. Uh, I will leave this cake here. I just don't know where to put it. Let's put it in here. Hmm. So, we have a bunch of coal, which is good. It should really help us light up some areas. Uh, oh, we have all this leather. Oh, well, we have a lot of leather. Uh, we shouldn't be running out of armor anytime soon, which is uh, very nice of Good to give us all this lovely stuff. And we have a second diamond sword, which I will be putting away. Uh, okay. Now let's see. Uh, I want to take the gravel with me. I'm going to leave the cobblestone because um, I don't know... Until I get water for a, a, an infinite... Um, in, for a cobblestone generator, I don't want to take all of my water with me, or take um, all of my cobblestone with me because we may lose it, you know, and that would be a little rough on us. So, this area just seems too dark. I mean, it's probably just barely light enough that it doesn't affect us, but nonetheless, it bothers me. So, we have plenty of materials now, I think. Um, let's light up this area a little bit better. It's nice that we have torches now, so we can just run through and not have to worry about uh, things being too dark. Because that was pretty rough. Like, I've never played Minecraft where I haven't had torches, you know? Like, at least not for extended amounts of time. Vex is just, like, he, he gives you so much coal once you get coal, so you don't even have to worry about it. I mean, this map is, like, fortunately, you know, we can make charcoal, but... Um, if we couldn't, then we would totally be screwed. That's where the secret thing is. Let's see, we're probably just going to make it to the intersection, then we have to end the episode. Um, let's see. Where are we? Hey, some coal. Let's grab that. Watch, there's just like a giant vein of coal behind this. Goes on for miles. Uh, nope, that's it. Darn. I was almost hoping I was going to be right. And man, these holes in the ground are just everywhere. I didn't even know how to get back up here when I came back up the second time. Or when I came back up, I should say. Um, when I came through here the second time? Is that what I'm looking for? Like right here. Right here, I didn't even leave myself a pathway to get up. So I was just like, uh... Ow, my legs. I don't like all these holes that I've dug everywhere. Or, that I did. I didn't dig them, dig them all. I don't know why I said that. Um, I don't like the holes everywhere. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. What's with this area? It's dark. It's dark-ish. It's like orangey. Which is too dark for me. Okay, whoa, where don't like particles game. This game gets a little finicky sometimes with particles. Oh, I never brought back my brown wool. Alright, well, we have we have some now. Alright, I wanted to make a chest, that's why I went back for all the, um... So I went back for wood. Dang, I didn't bring saplings with me. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna subject you guys to walking back, though. Um, maybe we'll do it some other time. Yeah, oop. Or actually, there should be saplings in that place once we get some, once we get into it, you know? But that may take quite a while, so I don't know how that's going to go exactly. Um, just because, you know, it's it's a pretty big area and slime. <laughs> um, and there's so many mobs. I may just have to, like, take serious advantage of the fact that I have a lava bucket. And uh, do everything I can to decimate that area. But I do have... Okay, let's see, I've got this. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to, um... Where's the slime? Slimey slime. Slimey slime. There you are. Oh, jeez. He scared the crap out of me. I thought he was a creeper. I heard more footsteps, and I was like, ah! My volume's really low this 
this time actually I think I must have turned it down last yeah I, I turned it down um I don't is that did I turn it down what do I normally have it at I don't know um because I can barely hear it but actually you guys probably can hear it fine because I remember watching a recording and thinking that it was off but it was actually decent so um I'm just gonna end the episode here and uh next time we'll go in this way and try to get up into that room up there. Actually, we might be able to just dig in from up here. Actually, we can just dig in from up there at the top of the stairs, because that whole room is lit up now. So, we'll do that next time. Uh, so, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.